Well, it looks as though we may have another Marvel project dead in the water already. Uh, and it's, it's not surprising in the least because over the past few years, Marvel have shown their utter incompetence by constantly bringing writers onto projects that shouldn't be there. And it's very apparent why they shouldn't be there just based on what they have worked on in the past. But here we are again. The movie in question is a it's a movie I think probably had a lot of hype around it. And just like that, it went, went down. It's just went straight down with this. It's, of course, the, the Marvel movie that Marvel realized we got to announce something because our company is currently dying. So we do uh, Deadpool 3. We've got Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine. And there's our little nostalgia bait. That will get people back in the doors. And then what we'll do to solidify that is, oh, we'll bring on a She-Hulk writer for the sequel. Right. And th this is apparently Ryan Reynolds that has brought this, this guy on. Uh, and my only question is, is why did you look at his past work? I, I don't even know why they need another writer. They've already got two writers on this project. And now they're like, we need another one. Get the guy from She-Hulk. Uh, again, we're dealing with absolutely clueless people that just don't realize. It's like they must be paying attention to how hated this show is. Nothing of quality in it. And they're just like, nah, hire him. <sighs> I suppose we'll see what all this is about. We we'll see. We'll see what the guy's written. And what he's currently writing, and it's it's not very it's not very good things. It is not things where you will go, oh that's that's pretty good then. It, it's none of that. It's it's the complete opposite. But as they say, an Emmy award winning writer, which doesn't mean shit anymore, does it? Uh, who worked on She Hulk, Attorney at Law. Uh, I I don't know how you can have Emmy award winning and She Hulk in the same sentence. Uh, has joined the writing team for Deadpool 3. Uh, the Ryan Reynolds starring and produced Deadpool 3 has already had one writer shake up on the road to release, having originally recruited Bob's Burgers writers for for a million dollar movie. Uh, again, they, they seem to keep doing this. They've done it with Rick and Morty writers, uh, and then they think, oh, get people from Bob's Burgers. It's like, it's not the same thing. But they keep they keep on doing that. It's like writers like this may be fine for things like Bob's Burgers and similar with the guy we're about to get into. But when it comes to something like, oh, a Deadpool 3 movie, get the guys that write 20 minute episodes. It just none of it makes any sense to me whatsoever. It's like you must have higher up writers uh, than that. But of course, it doesn't matter anyway, because they they left. And then, as it says here, the pair. Uh, would have replaced the writers of the first two movies, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who were eventually reinstated in place of the Bob's Burgers writers. Uh, right, so that's that's probably a good thing. You want the, the two writers that have done the first two, because the first two are, you know, pretty good. Uh, and that that's probably all you need. But no, we live in an era where we need multiple writers on every project, because no one can seem to do anything on their own. You know, you look at most productions now, it's like, oh, we've got five writers on this movie. Right, what, what do you need five writers for? I don't know. Uh, but let's see who this writer is. According to Deadline, writer Zeb Wells has been recruited by Ryan Reynolds and Marvel Studios to join franchise mainstays Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese on the script for Deadpool 3. Wells has already written for the MCU before as a co-writer on She-Hulk Attorney at Law, working only on Episode 7, The Retreat. Uh, that was shit. Just like every episode in that show was dog shit. Uh, but as they're about to... Uh, oh, well, you know, take a look at this as well. This is also not a good sign. He will also be involved with 2023's The Marvels. Right, we already know that's going to be fucking dog shit. Uh, and that's the guy you want. Uh, and serve as head writer on Marvel Zombies. That's what Marvel is at the moment, isn't it? Uh, the writer holds an Emmy for his work on Robot Chicken, so put him on a million-dollar movie. Good idea. Good plan. Don't get any people that, 
you know, are established. We wouldn't want that. We'd want people that have written 20-minute episodes of, you know, a little comedy show. Get them. Right, okay. Uh, the writer holds an Emmy for his work on Robot Chicken and has plenty of history with Marvel as a comic writer. Let me guess, modern comic book writer. So, not very good. Uh, Marvel Studios is loving Zeb Wells right now. Uh, again, they, they say this about like every writer that they, that they have that are proven to be dog shit. They said this about Michael Waldron. They said this about Jeff Loveness. That, oh, Marvel Studios, no, is it, you know, it does it just really come down to, oh, they do what they're fucking told? Is that, is that really all it is? Uh, between She-Hulk and Deadpool 3, Zeb Wells will now have worked on two of the MCU's fourth wall-breaking projects. Wells' episode, The Retreat, is one of the highest, the episode's shit, just like every other one, uh, episodes of the season and received a fairly positive response. From fans at the time, what positive responses were there to any episode of She-Hulk? It was just getting dragged online, roasted. There was there was no one talking positively uh, about it. And of course, this epi that episode was uh, the one where oh, she just goes to Thingy Majiggy's house and does fuck all for 25 minutes. And it isn't funny. It isn't well written. Uh, that's the guy we want, uh, as it marked an uptick in quality after a, f a few shaky episodes. Uh, regardless of one's own thoughts on the gamma-infused legal comedy, Wells has clearly proven himself to be a talented writer. How? It's Oh, you have Robot Chicken. Right, that's it. Yet yeah, all the other stuff, you're writing the Marvels. You know, you're a co-writer on that, because that project has about 20 writers. Because uh, no one can get it fucking right, and, and robot, and also worked on one episode of She-Hulk, which wasn't very good. And you're like talented writer, talented writer. Okay, uh, has earned him seven Emmy nominations. Oh, so he hasn't actually won anything, uh, even including one win. Right, one win. <laughs> uh, he undeniably has the shrewd comedy skills that Ryan Reynolds looks for. Right, so. He wrote on She-Hulk, none of those ever... That, that was a show where comedy goes to die. Uh, so, shrewd comedy skills, whatever. I guess so. Uh, looks for uh, to make a meaningful contribution to Deadpool 3. I, I don't understand why. I really don't. Uh, Marvel Studios is clearly fond of Wells and enjoy... I, I really think it's just they don't pay attention. I don't think it's got anything to do with we're fond of this person. I, I think it's just, ah, we're not really paying attention to it. We're going to come out, you know, Bob Iger, whoever it is, or oh, we're focusing quality now, and then we hire a fucking She-Hulk writer on Deadpool 3. What are you doing? What are you doing? Again, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, and enjoyed working so far as it is no small thing to see him put on the Marvel's Dead in the Water movie. Uh, Deadpool 3 looks to be a dead-in-the-water movie. Uh, writing teams have already been given an episode of She-Hulk and his own show with Marvel Zombies. Uh, right, so that, that's probably going to be great, isn't it? Uh, it will not be at all surprising if the robot chicken writer makes his way onto more MCU movies and series in the not-too-distant future. Deadpool 3 hits theaters on no November 8th, 2024. Don't think it will be coming out then. As we see with all the delays, there's no chance of that coming out next year. That's going to be about another three years away. That would be my prediction for it, uh, just based on all the delays we're having. But that's what we've got to look forward to for Deadpool 3. I'm pretty sure any buzz or hype around this now has quickly died. I don't want to be the one to burst your bubble, but uh, again, they keep making these decisions. Over and over again. They've done it with Jeff Loveness. Shitty Quantumania. He's now got a, an Avengers movie. You've also got Michael Waldron, who done Multiverse of Madness, now has an Avengers movie. They, they're just repeating, <laughs> repeating the same mistakes and then wonder why they have the same outcome. It's like, just look at who you're hiring. You've already got... Two writers on this project that writ the first two. 
that wrote the first two, rather. Why I don't know why you would need to add another person to that. Uh, but they've went and done it. They've <laughs> they've hired a writer on the Marvels. We all know how bad that's going to be. We all know it. Uh, and also wrote an episode of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Isn't a well-written episode. It isn't a funny episode. So I don't really see what they're pulling out of this guy. 